want to uh, wish you a warm welcome here to the symposium today called the Precision Proteomics to Drive Personalized Medicine. Uh, I'm Eric Ingelson. I'm a professor at Stanford University, and I'm going to be the moderator throughout the day. Um, so what, what can we expect from the symposium today? I think it will be a very exciting uh, symposium, a lot of... Uh, leading uh, researchers in a range of fields. We can start to address this gap of knowing that there's regions of the genome associated with disease. Maybe by overlaying proteomics in the middle, we can start to understand what are the key genes and what are the key proteins. Uh, you perhaps do an MRI, you do a CSF sampling, and then in the afternoon you will have the results back and can discuss what this might be. The ABC scores, they are well calibrated. Uh, that shows that the calculated event, as you can see here, is, uh, was very similar to the observed events. Of course, I don't have to say in this audience that I think precision medicine based on omics is very, very attractive for the future. Olink has developed uh, a very innovative technology that has uh, a simplicity approach to being able to measure large numbers of proteins. That's a significant breakthrough for investigators to break into uh, field of diseases that you could not explore without this technology. So I, I was here to learn. Well, this seminar is really great because it brings in uh, a variety of uh, people from different backgrounds and certainly uh, biologists and omic specialists together to clinicians because we tend actually to live in silos and not much to talk to each other. When you asked that question, my first answer was to say, you know, to find other like-minded people in the field uh, with whom we can ultimately collaborate. I guess my answer really should be more expanded to even find people who have very differing opinions in the field, but clearly opinions that I respect, to ultimately come at the real answers to these problems. It's obviously a fact that precision medicine is here to say. Uh, across all research segments and uh, from regulators, payers and last but not least patients. So it's, uh, it, they are very new data, uh, but I thought it would be appropriate to show them here. So we're, these are the sort of things that we love to now dig into. But I guess what our, our main message here is that the majority of individuals stays constant during one year, but has a unique molecular profile, which I find very, very interesting for precision medicine. We each have our own fingerprint when it comes to uh, molecular profiles.